I have gained hundreds of thousands of followers and millions of views with short form content. And if you wanna do the exact same thing, all you need to know are these three simple steps. Number one, you need to have irresistible intros. The first three seconds of your YouTube shorts matter the most. YouTube even shows you how many people viewed your video or swiped away. Follow this formula, curiosity plus emotion plus relevance. Curiosity, the goal is to spark curiosity. You do this by asking a question, challenging a belief, or calling someone out. Here's an example to watch. The reason why your clothes don't last and look like this is simple. You're breaking one of these three rules. The curiosity component was the three things. And if your clothes look that way, well, it's due to one of three reasons, which he's gonna tell you. Emotion, whether it's joy, shock, or rage, if you can evoke an emotion in someone, they are immediately hooked. Just like this example. Don't make this mistake when you're working on your own happiness. She said the emotion right away in the video. It's happiness, relevance. The goal of making a video relevant is so the audience knows you are creating content that is relevant for them. This video right here is a great example of that. Here's a new trendy way to make your favorite sushi at home. I call it a California fold. A video teaching you how to make sushi at home. If you're someone who wants to make recipes at home, cook at home, or do anything with food at home, that's the channel for you. There's multiple ways to achieving a successful hook. You just have to find what's best for you. Number two is what I call trimming the fluff. One of the biggest issues creators face is having too much fluff on their videos that's causing them to lose views. Watch this video. Hey, so uh, welcome to the video. Welcome to the video. Today, uh, we're gonna talk about how you can get more subscribers on your YouTube channel. And um, I'm gonna share with you, boring. It's taking way too long to get into the content and you're going to lose people. Now, watch this video. Do this if you wanna get your first thousand YouTube subscribers in less than 30 days. Better, whether it's leaving filler words in on the video or taking too long to get into the content, you're going to lose people's attention and they're gonna find something else to watch. Remove the filler words, pauses, or cut anything that might cause someone to lose their attention. Here's another trick you can use when it comes to trimming the fluff on your videos. I learned this one from Hayden Smith from the Editing Podcast, who has edited for Logan Paul, Yes Theory, and Mr. Beast. It's called the distraction test. Have you ever done the distraction test? Uh, this is something that I do, uh, where it's I get every single potential distraction possible. And so when I'm going for a video, I'll get my phone in front of me, I'll get my tablet in front of me, I'll get a book that I am avoiding reading in front of me, I get my cat in front of me, and then the second, I want to pet my cat. I want to look at my phone, I get a notification, I'm interested. Or finally, I'm gonna pick up that book that I've been avoiding all those months. Something's wrong here. Number three, content flavors. John Yushai said it best. Marry your niche while you're varying your format. One thing you need to stay true to is your niche. That doesn't mean, however, you need to live in a box. Think of your channel like a variety show. You can have talking head style videos, clips from long form YouTube videos, podcast clips, interview clips. Better yet, think of it like this. Your YouTube channel needs to be like an ice cream shop. When your viewers go to your ice cream shop, there are many flavors for them to choose from. Your ice cream shop can be whatever your channel's about, whether that's fishing, cooking, gaming, whatever that is. Let's look at some examples. If you're a cooking show, you can show tutorial style videos, collaborative style videos, or outlandish and explorative style videos. If you're a fitness channel, like my buddy Marcus, you can do sit down talks, you can do in the kitchen nutrition tips, and you can do exercise demonstrations. All different flavors, but at the end of the day, the ice cream shop or whatever their channel is about is serving the audience the exact content that they want. Decide on three series or flavors for your channel. Post 10 videos from each of these. If after 10 videos, you want to remove one and add a different style, go for it. If all three are performing really well, keep going. But I'm curious to hear from you and let me know in the comments below. Tell me the three series that you're gonna create for your channel so we can all go check out your channel. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button or smash it or whatever thing kids are into nowadays, I don't know. And I will see you in the next video. But before you leave, check out this video. I shared some secret websites that'll help grow your small YouTube channel. I'll see you there.